Okay, Joshua back here. It's uh, Monday, December the 1st, 2008. Coming to you from somewhere in the lower mainland of Vancouver. I'm inside. Don't have to stay in my camper anymore. And I have a shop. What a blessing. That's what I asked the Lord for a month ago when He supplied my needs. Uh, anyway, uh, I'd like to uh, discuss the gasification tests done with the Joe pipe a few nights ago uh, and uh, more or less to uh, get out the potential and where does it go from now and uh, just a second I want to make sure this is recording here that's recording I, I, I've already gone through this and uh, I accidentally re he erased this video that I'm doing now, the first one that I did, so I have to do it again. Sounds a little bit like an echo, and here it is because we just freshly painted the walls and we got wood floors in there, so we've had a little bit of carpet. Imagine the voice wouldn't be so, so echoey. Anyway, uh, on the joke pipe, it was evident, as you look at the videos on the nine video series on the gasification, that the little gasifier there made out of four inch tubing, 10 inches long, with the one inch uh, feed input for, the, for where you pour the wood pellets in, is more than sufficient to produce the, uh, uh, the wood gas to mix with the propane uh, to provide your initial uh, heat. Now, as you can see in the in the videos, the uh, the drill pipe is producing probably a third to fifty percent more heat, okay? and it's we're, we're also looking at uh, the trans transition point of plasma. Uh, the blue is no longer blue; uh, there's blue mixed in with uh, purple and violet, and actually you're. Now, physically in the night, you can actually see uh, violet and blue light actually emanating as light uh, from the flame itself. And, not, and uh, so it's taking on uh, new characteristics. And as far as I understand, that the, the, the violet or the blue is an indication that the fire itself is, is, is leaving the third state of matter and going into the plasma state. Uh, being the first state of matter, just, just like a, a plasma torch is not a regular flame, you know, it burns at 20, 30,000 degrees. And you, know, you can't take a propane torch to get it to burn at 30, you know, 20, 30,000 degrees, maybe a couple thousand. So that's the difference uh, between uh, fire in the third state of matter and fire in the fourth state of matter. So it's evident now that the, the, the joke pipe went used to produce wood gas is produ producing sub-level plasma energy and, uh, and by using Rob Ryder's uh, innovation of using the where, where he took a, uh, a socket, a 916 socket or something like that and he epoxied on uh, six little copper wires to form, form a helix and uh, in a vertical test using a 10 inch pipe he suspended it just above the uh, where the air and the propane was coming in and he was actually able to produce a, a very tight uh, fire funnel that was very observable and I'll be doing a bit on this uh, going into the drill pipe and uh, at five feet away he was saying from this well, from the, uh, the end of the pipe that he can only bring his hand as close as five feet away. Now that's, that's something that's too uh, remarkable. And uh, so I'm already seeing fruit being produced by openly free sharing the drill pipe technology with the world so that the general population can, can benefit the people that, uh, you know, that are average people, to have families, kids, that they can uh, start making, apply the drill pipe technology to heating their homes and hot water and 
maybe using wood gasification to power, to, power, uh, to generate your home power where you no longer have to be out on the grid. Or if you are on the grid, the power goes out, well, no problem. You've got a backup. Now, the people need to, now if we work together as a people, and, and if we get, you know, if we got free sharing in our heart, where we, we're not doing it for ourselves, but we're working together as one person, then things will get done. You know, you, Greed's got, got America and Canada and the world into the problem of recession because of the control of money, because of greed. You know, the rich man's got the money, and he says to the vendor, well, I'll give you 5% or 10%, but I want to call the shots. It's that kind of attitude that has brought our economy to where it is now. And, and those kind of people I don't want to work with because they're greedy. But who says that you can't work with others who have the same vision that uh, where if we all pool our talents and resources together, something is going to be get, get done and it's not going to be held back because of greed. Because one person or, or or a group of people who want to control the shots. And uh, this way, you know, something can be built and got out there. And, and to where it's, it's feeding the needs. Get rid of the politics, get rid of the greed, and things can be done. But anyway, getting back to the joke pipe, and uh, uh, in the videos it is apparent that the drill pipe, the two inch drill pipe, 24 inches long, using a 10 inch gasifier, produces more than enough fuel to generate this enormous amount of heat. And at some point, I'm, I'm hoping to uh, be able to have the software to be able to measure this. With, uh, same as the rocket man, he, he uses two probes put into the flame to, to measure the the uh, characteristics of the of the thrust, and uh, he has a you know a very fancy uh, Macintosh laptop, and, and that's something that I could use. And because uh, you need a, a laptop that's that's going to be able to handle that kind of stuff. So anybody that has a Mac out there, a fairly new one, you like to donate it. While I'm here, you can reach me at my new Skype number, through Skype, at Joshua8767. So, we can actually talk uh, openly. And getting back to the Joe pipe, uh, I'd like to see the Joe pipe be used to uh, produce wood gas and also pyrolysis gas to produce not only heat, but power, uh, you know, have enough uh, energy or fuel to run a 20 horsepower 10 kilowatt generator. You know, Luke's working on on his. He's uh, duplicating the, the plans on on power labs, and uh, he's just so good with metal. He knows his stuff. But I believe that the uh, the Joe pipe has the potential to uh, to take gasification to the next level on a on a global scale throughout the world it has that potential and uh, so what I like to see is what I'm seeing now is that the wood pellets can be used right now it can be changed to produce the initial heat the, basically the gasification and uh, to, to run a second gasification or pyrolysis unit uh, <coughs> And you know you can either go full gasification, full pyrolysis, or you could use a combination of gasification and pyrolysis. So I'm going to stop this video here, and uh, I don't want to outrun my time. And uh, it looks like it's going to this is going to be a two-part, and I was hoping to do it in one, but I'd be squeezing uh, too much together. And so when we come back to the second part, I'd like to discuss how the Joe pipe can be used as a plug and play device to, to fit into a, a, a secondary gas.